mathematics in general is basically the intersection of three fields. It's mechanical engineering, computer science, and electrical engineering. So um, we talk about things that sense, think, and act on the world. Um, so my field, social robotics, we um, take a lot of metaphors from how people communicate with each other and how we frame information, and we actually design that into a robot. Now what's kind of fun about this approach is that people automatically humanize machines no matter what. So if, if it approaches them in a particular way, they might find it to be shy or friendly or scary. And so um, basically what our field does is we actually um, see that as a feature. And so we design our robot systems to take people and communication into account. One of the things that's really interesting about robotics in general is that as soon as you put them around a person, people start to read things into what they're doing and being confused if the robot isn't communicating properly. So if you have robots running around in factories and they're trying to deliver parts to a person, they need to actually learn how to communicate well to function. And people will anticipate what they're doing and start their next steps. So it's actually essential for collaboration. So I believe that the next generation of robots will be collaborative robots, um, robots that work together with people. And that's possible without being able to communicate. So in the 80s, it was really popular to think about automating everything. I, I think we're, well, we're still, there's still things that are continuing to be automated, but in terms of, I'm a researcher, so I'm thinking about the future. And, and that automation wave is kind of on its tail, right? It's still gonna happen. It's still gonna be useful in business, but in terms of research, in terms of the future of technology, um, this idea of collaboration, I think, is really the big one, right? So it's like, what can people and machines actually do together? And because it's, so it's like autonomous cars. So it's one thing if you had a fully autonomous system, that would be cool. Or we have the current cars where we mostly drive them by ourselves. But the really hard thing is to actually get that hybrid and to be able to, so one of the most dangerous things is when you switch over control, like how, cause the, there's a delay. So if it's really dangerous and the car can't handle it, and it takes us three seconds to react, we could be in way more trouble than if the person had been driving the whole time. So this idea of how do you actually make the systems work together, that's really hard and we don't have really good technical solutions to that yet, both from the, 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 the machine's ability to perceive us and then also from the machine's ability to signal to us. So